back in the cabin. So I'm here in the pallet wood cabin that I built with my dad. This whole cabin is made from recycled pallet wood. It's another kind of cabin vlog that I'm gonna do. I've got so much mail from you guys, it's actually unreal. I cannot believe how much you guys have sent me, I'm very grateful. But before that, I seriously need to get a cup of coffee on the go. So it's time for some epic coffee vibes. Come you Tell me what to do Cause I do anything for me You get me up, you get me through oh. As I slide, see suns fade I'll come back soon Got my soup as well, a bit of beef broth, but coffee takes priority, always. Oh, that's so good. This week, I've gone for the Spalted Beach Cookser, made by my good buddy, Will Callanan. You can find Will, I'll drop a link to his website uh, in the description below. He makes incredible cooksers, handmade, with gouges and things like that, it's unbelievable, all handmade. This one's Spalted Beach. Those that remember the previous uh, Cabin Life vlog thing, where I obviously unboxed subscriber gifts and things like that, um, David, I think David's was the first I opened and it was a postcard from Switzerland. So David, thanks very much. Your postcard is gonna be the first to be pinned up on the cabin up here. I like to keep all your goodies that you guys send me. So David, you're on the wall, buddy. You're on the pallet wood wall. Yeah, thank you. So let me eat this soup and then I will start opening some gifts. The cabin's creaking now, if you can hear that. And it's where, <laughs> it's where dad's put a bit of support pallet to a tree. As a result, that tree's blowing the wind and the cabin's just going like that. You can hear it every now and then. So I'm going to have to sort that because if I'm doing, uh, when I'm staying overnight, I don't really fancy hearing that all night. It's like a creaky ship. Oi, cabin! You'll have to forgive the creaking of the cabin, guys. It is creaky. So, this is from the US. A couple of letters first. We'll do the smaller ones first. Personalised letter. Oh wow. So this is from Main Warudo Kona. Thank you very much for this, Kona. He, he sent me a really nice letter here and he sent me some uh, fire lighting cords. Been a big fan, he says, of the uh, of TA Outdoors, long term subscriber. So thanks so much. Uh, I don't know where it's from. Oh, this is from Canada. Letter from Canada. Let's have a look. I think you might be the first Canadian person to send me something. Oh wow, there's loads of little, uh, little notes. Where do I start? I, I don't read, I won't read through all the letters guys because it does, there's some fairly lengthy and also quite personal letters. But this is from Ron and Ron says he's got himself a little cabin. He's actually drawn a diagram there for me as well of his cabin, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, Ron's just saying he, he, he sort of loves the pallet wood cabin. He's spent the last three winters at his. He's got a cabin as well. He says he's going through a hard time in his life. So I'm, Ron, I'm really pleased the videos are helping you, buddy. Uh, he says he likes my wood stove, especially the, uh, the bread baking oven on the stove oven, which is awesome. Um, he's saying about building a, uh, he's got a table bench like ours. Um, and he's given me suggestions on, on what, you know, I can build here at the pallet wood cabin. He's given me a list of ideas. So Ron, Thank you so much, that's very, very kind of you. And Ron's actually made me this. So thanks so much, Ron, that's really kind. Let's show the subscribers that. Handmade 
by Ron in Canada. Uh, leather, I believe. Thank you so much, Ron. More coffee. We're only two, two posts in. Because we have lots more posts. I'm gonna need more coffee than that. Okay, next one. Let's have a look. Do you know what's so funny? I actually had the postman come and knock on my door telling me that my PO box is getting quite full and it's the sorting office is getting annoyed with me because the post was building up. So I basically have to check my PO box a little bit more often now. But I can't believe it. That video was only two weeks ago or something and you guys went nuts sending me stuff. Oh, do you know what? I love the personalized notes as well. This is cool. Paracord bracelets. Yes. If you guys can see that, I'll put it in my face. That is, that is neat. Oh, and she fits. She fits, there we go. And this is from, bear with me, Mike. I've made matching gifts for you and Jax. For Jax, I have made a collar. Oh, it's a collar. Paracord dog collar, that's awesome. For Jax, I've made a, a, a collar with a D loop for his lead and a snap hook for his ID. That's so cool. For you, I made a survival bracelet from the same paracord and cobra weave for Jax's collar. I watch all of your videos and I'm truly inspired by what you do. So much so I have had a go at my own YouTube channel called Survival for ZA or ZA. Keep up the good work and hopefully more people can get outdoors and respectfully enjoy nature. Kindest regards, Adam. Adam, you rock man. I'm gonna show whoop, I'm gonna show Jax this when I get back home. I haven't got him with me at the moment, but he's gonna love it. Thank you. I'm keeping all your letters, by the way, guys. I don't throw them away after I've uh, got them. I keep them. I've got a big box at home now where I just keep all of your letters. We've got more. Okay, it's the TBS bore again today to open our post. Letter is in this envelope attached. I don't want to rip your letter. It's a bit dangerous. It's a bit dangerous, mate. There we go. Oh, it's in like Christmas wrapping present paper as well, and I don't want to. I've ripped a bit of it, sorry. Wow, you, dude, you have wrapped this well. Hi, Mike, we have really enjoyed your series of building the cabin with your dad. In keeping with this, I've sent you some. Meth stoves. <laughs> There's obviously something else inside this. Let's have a little look because it's not ice cream because that would have melted in. Whoa. Oh, cool. Oh, this is awesome. They're little, re oh, just what we like as well. Little recycled stoves. Look at this. And this, there's another one there. In keeping with this, I've sent you some meth stoves that I've made with my nippers for our adventures. Don't let the scrapyard look fool you. These things really pack a punch. They make a great addition to any day sack, tackle box, or overnight kit. I set up my channel in order to get the kids up. Hopefully, a few memories will be made along the way from all of us at Step Away from the Oh, from all of us at Step Away from the Screens. That's his channel name. Step Away from the Screens. Go and check him out, guys. Dad is called Nobby, <laughs> and the kids are Sheephead, Captain Insaner, Earth Earthworms something, Earthworm Jim, and Beaver Bay. Pop and the dogs are Pop and Mad. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, he's giving me instructions and everything on how to use these. This is so cool. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. See that little chest lever grip there? <laughs> oh, oh, if only I'd opened my post earlier. Local coffee from St. Lucia. Dad used to go quite a lot fishing. Dear Mike, huge fan of the show. I first started watching when the old man hooked that poor beagle a few years ago. Ah, oh, this is on TA Fishing, our other channel. Congratulations on passing the 200k subscriber mark. Here is some local market coffee from St. Lucia. Best wishes, keep up the good work from Dave in Southampton. Yes, thank you, Dave. Oh yes. I'm running out of space here. Cabin's so small. Ooh, she's a biggie. She's a biggie. Can I get to that? Oh my. What is it with you people and rapping so well? What? Okay. What are these? This is to me and Dad. So Dad watches the videos anyway, guys, after I've uploaded them, so he'll see this as well. This is epic. Oh, I think I, think I know what these are. I like to help pick logs up, I think. Mike and Graham, this is just a little gift to say thank you for making such great videos on both your channels. I love watching them usually on a Sunday morning with a coffee while still in bed on my laptop. Please keep the videos, the great videos coming. From Stephen in Lancashire. I love the little testing his pen was working on the back. <laughs> and a bit of scribbling. That, yes, that is so cool. And he's given me two, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna keep one here at the cabin and one to give to dad. 
It's got a really good ergonomic grip as well. From the US, I think. This is, there's obviously an, a proper way of opening these ah, packages, which I didn't know before. Oh, come on, Mike. This is, I've never seen a thing like this. Okay. Oh, wow. That is a cabin. And that is seriously off grid. Can you guys see that? See that little cabin? It's a photo. Yeah, it's not a painting, it's a photo. That is stunning. Oh look, there's, there's another photo. Look at that river, mountains. That absolutely, that is absolutely awesome. What a stunning scenery. The river, it says the river picture with the barn is the Shields River, which has browns and rainbow trout in it and cutthroat trout. Stream with all the green bushes is called Fish, Fishning Creek or something, loaded with brook trout. And this is, this is awesome. Thanks so much, this is from Royce. He, <laughs> Royce lives in Montana in the US. He's been watching videos on YouTube for a couple years. I don't just appreciate the material in your videos, but I really enjoy the relationship that is displayed between you and your father. You seem to really enjoy each other's company with sincerity and the respect you have for your father is enviable and a rare thing to see these days. I'm an avid outdoorsman who has been fishing, hunting and hiking all over Montana for 40 years. My family was one of the original families that settled in the northwest part of the state in the mid 1800s, making me around fifth generation. Oh, here's, so these pictures are all from Montana, which I've never been to, by the way, but it looks stunning. Montana is 145,000 square miles with only 1 million permanent residents, and 50% of the state is public lands, with some of the most amazing wilderness in the lower 48 states. I'm not a certified guide, or do I make a living off the outdoors. I'm just a good old boy who knows a lot of great areas in the state. The area I live in is an incredible gateway to some of the best hunting and fishing in the world. With that said, I just want to offer you and your father an open invitation to visit, and I would love to personally guide you guys to some once-in-a-lifetime places to camp or fish. That is awesome. He's sent me a picture of him as well, but hanging out in the mountains. That is so cool. Thank you, man. I love this cook, because so you can double grip it. Just for the extra support. Amazon box. I definitely didn't order these. Oh, I did say about some candles in the video. And that is taying something. 30 candles. Boom. I'm not going to run out of candles anytime soon. Oh, here's the personal message from Rob. Thanks, Rob. Mike, I hope these will last a bit longer in your cabin. I really enjoyed watching you and your dad build it. Precious memories from Rob. From Alabama. That's so cool. Candles from Alabama. It's awesome. <laughs> I've got so much stuff in here. Oh, the boxes are just getting bigger. I'm, I'm just getting buried. It's another Amazon box, guys. And it's a beast. <laughs> no way. This is this is a good one. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I didn't even know you could get them this big. Firstly, this is from uh, Jaylene or Jaylene. <laughs> Love your vids. Was sad to see you didn't have sauce for your bacon sandwich on your overnighter. Here's an XL bottle for the cabin to make sure you don't run out in the future. Best regards. Can't wait to see what you do next. From Jay. This is from Jay in the US. <laughs> like an industrial sized HP sauce. I didn't bring any bacon today, but that is, that's staying here so that every time I need bacon, boom, I've got some. That is, that is so cool. That's very thoughtful. I literally forgot my sauce on one trip. And in return, I get an absolute beast of a bottle. That's so good. Thank you so much, Jay. I know this is a lengthy one, guys, but you seem to really enjoy me opening my mail, so maybe we'll make this a regular thing, depending on, on how often we get it. This is from Mitchell. Oh, it's looking cool. What is it? Yeah, there's a zip here. Oh, just so you can see that. It's like a camo, forest camo it looks like. And here's a note with my name on the front. Shut up, creaky cabin. It's a lovely card with a little mouse on the front. 
and it says, Hi Mike and Dad. Dad isn't here guys, but he always watches these. Just a few items from Colorado, US. You guys from the US are pumping things in. Uh, just a few items from Colorado, USA to show my appreciation for your channel. I've enjoyed watching you and your dad doing what you do. Great times for sure and a good learning experience. Hopefully this will get through customs. It did get through customs. And you can enjoy the little extra something from one of the best breweries. <gasps> best breweries here in Colorado. We have over 385 breweries. Oh man, that would be bad news for me if I was there. Plus some other items I have been crafting. Best of luck in 2018. Cheers, Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell's got a YouTube channel, guys, called Guns, Knives and Beer. Go and check him out. Mitch, you the man. You the man. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. He's carved a little spoot spatula for me. Oh, and that's awesome. A little, like, bear carving. Let's get in on this so you guys can see it. Look at that carving. That's from Mitch. Cheers. That's so cool. And... This guy's staying in the cabin as well, Mitchell. And just so you know, he's gonna sit about there, probably. I'm gonna name him Mitch. This little dude's called Mitch. Wicked. That's so cool. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's more crafty items. He's made me a little leather pop open kind of purse. Which is awesome. That'd be handy for like little bits of tinder or even just general coins and things like that made from leather. That's really cool. And a little tinder pouch. I like making these as well, they are really cool. I could probably store some coffee beans in this one actually. Do you know what? I could combine subscriber gifts and get the old St. Lucia coffee beans and store them in here. I, I like the camo bag by the way as well, I think I'll definitely use that. And this. This could be a great uh, food storage bag. Mitchell, thank you. That could, that could get some reuse. Oh, there's more bits. Mitchell, damn. So, there's another bit here, a little uh, pouch made in the USA by Guns and Knives, so it's obviously Mitchell's thing, and I think that's his bear logo, I guess. Tiny little pouch, look at that, tiny. And in it is, oh, look, little spice jars. Two little spice jars that I can use. That's so cool, I might probably put salt and pepper in that. That's a really neat little product. And it looks like it's handmade by him, so how cool is that? That's really cool. Oh, really small as well, really compact. I like that. I'm getting a bit dark, aren't I? Let me come back a bit. Um, hold on, there's more. <laughs> there's more, guys. Um, another pouch with a nice, easy to see pink zip. And there's more. <laughs> uh, this is the pièce de résistance. Another cool bag that could be used. Oh, look. Another little storage bag thing. and a double button open padded. Oh, yeah, there she is, and it's padded as well. And it's Endpoint Triple India Pale Ale Renegade Brewery Company. I've never heard of Renegade over here in the UK, in England, certainly. So maybe you guys do because a lot of my viewers are from the US. And I like that that little padded uh, koozie, do you guys call them? That comes with it. It's like a it's like a double, um, well, it just stops your beer getting bashed about, I guess. It's another biggie. I think it's the last of the big boxes, guys. Let's get through it. Oh, I don't think I've ever had this much mail before. There's the notes. Something small there. Something, I've got to be careful here because there's a lot of bubble wrap. Oh. Oh, what? No way. No freaking way. That can't be real. Oh, man. I thought the badger skull in here was epic. <laughs> what? Look at the size of that. I reckon that's, that's certainly not an animal that lives here, native here in the UK. That's for sure. There we go. I've sorted its jaws out, the joint. That's a beast. I reckon that's some sort of bear or something. Hello, my name is Joel. I'm 17 and my father Jeff and I love watching your videos. We are from Pennsylvania in the US. I'm sending you a knife and a spoon, which seems to be what was in this package. Look at that, it's like a Swiss Army, a Swiss Army knife and spoon, like spork. Look at this. This thing has everything you need to eat. Bottle opener, 
which will be used to open Mitchell's beer, knife. That's cool, cool multi-tool. Like that, thank you. So that's what was in this package, by the way, guys, the black one. Uh, yeah, so he says, with knife and spoon and a fork on it. Also, I'm sending you a Pennsylvania black bear skull, which my dad harvested. I believe it will look great in your cabin. We are actually interested in building a cabin of our own. Thanks for all of your great content. I appreciate it. A Pennsylvanian black bear skull. One I will most definitely treasure. And the fact that your dad harvested this, it's definitely a real skull, I can tell. The fact that your dad harvested this is just so much more meaningful. That's so cool. Thank you. That will be going up on the shelf right now. There you go, Joel. That is where I'm putting the black bear skull. There's my badger skull, which we found. Dad found the badger skull. Look at the difference. Badger, black bear. Badger, black bear. Our predators here in the UK, your predators over in the US. <laughs> okay, Joel and subscribers, just so you know, I've wedged a stick in the back of his jaw there, so his jaw kind of stays open and looks beastly. So they're both their jaws are open. That's an awesome gift. Thanks so much, Joel. I don't think that this is the last one. The last package. If you're still with me, thanks so much. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I hope to be doing more of these. Ah, I recognise who this is from. My buddy Tim. Tim at Blue Angelical Bushcraft. I'll pop a link to Tim's uh, bushcraft site. He makes really cool handcrafted bushcraft gear. This is a surprise. I didn't know this was coming. Already, Tim has a Jack Russell dog like Jack's my dog. He's giving me some dentist sticks for Jack's. This is so cool, Tim. So, dentist sticks, obviously for Jack's, unless I'm in a survival situation. And this, Tim did message me saying he sent me something, and I reckon I know what it is. That is incredible. This is waxed, waxed canvas, so oil skin material. If you can see that, it's a really lovely material. Look how well Tim stitches this. So this is a, a dog coat for Jack's. So there's the front. There's the back, and on it, there's his sort of heart, his um, sternum clip that goes round Jax's chest. So Tim's thought this all through, and because Tim's got Jack Russell, he know he probably knows the measurements because they're all pretty small dogs and they're quite easy. He's got a fo folding rain collar there, or I like to call it the Dracula collar when Jax has it on. And look at that wall on the inside to keep Jax nice and warm in the winter. That's really cool. And he's got these little rivets here and little pockets. Oh, is there treats in there? Oh, poo bag pocket. Gotta have those. You could never have enough poo bags. Poo bag pocket. You should patent that, Tim. And I guess that's what's in the other side as well. Yeah, double poo bag pocket. Don't worry, Jack's poo's enough as it is. There'll be loads of there. That's an awesome little coat. I can't wait to put that on Jack's later. That's so cool. Thanks so much, Tim. Oh, I, I can't get out of the cabin now. There's just too much stuff in here. <laughs> Wow, what can I say? That is so kind of you guys. I really appreciate that. Some amazing gifts from, from those of you that sent me stuff. Obviously, there's a link in the description if you're interested, but I am pretty bogged down with some you know awesome gifts there. That's just so kind of you. And also to the guys who've subscribed to TA Fishing, my dad's channel. You know, he, he, that's, the, that's how we started YouTube, was just me and dad making, making fishing films back in 2011, I think it was, 2010. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to TA Fishing, go and I'll pop a link in the description below, or go and search TA Fishing. That's Dad's channel. Uh, do go and hit the subscribe button over there, because you know he's he's obviously very grateful for it as well. I am I am very lucky. You know I'm very fortunate to have uh, you guys subscribe to the channel. You know I value that above anything that you're enjoying the videos and things like that, where I'm getting personal letters and personal notes. That shows that it's all worthwhile for me, more so than the numbers game. You know, I joined YouTube before it was all monetized. So for me, if YouTube went kaput, you know, if they stopped all monetization tomorrow, I'll get on with it. I'll still make videos, maybe not as frequently, but I would still make videos on YouTube because it was a passion way before it was my income. Um, and that's just the way it is. You know, I would continue to make videos because it's helping to inspire you guys. And that's, that's the teacher in me really, because being an ex-teacher, that's what I liked to do was just inspire kids to get out there, to enjoy education, to try and learn things. And that's, you know, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. That's what TA Outdoors and TA Fishing is all about. It, just trying to get out there with family, with friends, with mums, with dads, brothers, sisters, cousins, whatever. Like just go outside, enjoy yourself. And also try and learn something new each time you go outside. But the best way of learning is making your own mistakes. I'm serious. 
That is the best way of learning, going out there, doing it. It's okay to fail, doesn't matter if you fail, people fail all the time, I failed. Doesn't mean you failed at life, just means you failed at something. But in order to succeed, you have to fail. You have to know what failure feels like, so trust me, I've felt it plenty. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and remember to tick that little bell notification. As for plans for me, I just recently did that collaboration with Alec, Alec Steele, which was awesome. Never done blacksmithing in my life. He is an incredible teacher. Uh, he has an awesome YouTube channel uploading really regularly, so do go and check Alec's channel out. He taught me loads about blacksmithing, if I'm honest, he taught me loads. Um, and yeah, he's going to be coming onto my channel as well soon. We're going to be doing some cool sort of bushcraft outdoor stuff. I have some uh, bigger trips planned in February, uh, one or two longer trips, uh, and also March I've got some longer trips as well. Uh, so there's lots of cool stuff coming up. Obviously more collaborations with Dad as well, getting him on the channel, and we're going to develop this pallet wood cabin a little bit more. So thanks for sticking by, and I'll see you soon in the next episode.